This program is brought to you by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu. The traditional way of learning surgery is sort of the apprentice model, where you go and actually watch it, and then you do some integrated fashion. You learn to do more and more in real-life situations. As your mentor is more comfortable with you doing more and more, you can gain a uh, graded responsibility for that. But that always means that you're doing something right at the level of what you're comfortable with doing. The trick is that all surgery has to be done safely, and there's pretty much no margin for error. The Surgical Simulation Project is designed to provide an environment where people can practice uh, doing surgery, where the surgeon can see and feel a scenario that they would be seeing and, and interacting with in, a, in the actual surgery. It's sort of like flight simulation in that if your pilot is flying a 747, you would like to have had that pilot fly a simulator until they're quite confident. A trainee can learn how it feels to feel the pulse or how to feel um, the difference between a tumor or a bone or soft tissue or hard tissue. Can I feel the vibration of the tool that, that I'm using to cut the bone with? That's a field called haptics. When you sit with somebody and you're trying to teach them how hard to push or how, uh, how hard to, to lift something or how far to move it, it's a hard thing to describe in words or even show when you're watching somebody else do it. And one of the reasons I like working with surgeons is that they have a vocabulary for talking about the way things feel because it's important to doing things right for them. And it's not just what's the magnitude of the force or what's the frequency of the vibration. Does it click? Has it got a texture that counts? There are many dimensions to that that encode the feeling that we don't know what they are in the mechanical engineering world. That's why working together sort of guides us to the right place. We envision the technology that we're putting together not to be used just to teach people how to do the surgery, but as an ongoing way of basically rehearsing surgery on patients prior to an operation. So wouldn't it be nice if your surgeon could actually do the operation on a virtual representation of your anatomy before he or she actually undertakes the real procedure on you? The rehearsal aspect is, uh, I think, an interesting and kind of um, useful and aggressive next thing to do. I mean, that relates to the outcome of a specific individual, so it's potentially reimbursable by insurance and it's a cost that can be shared by each person. Um, so we're both pretty excited about that, that next step. In medicine and in surgery, we're being asked to work with progressively more complex procedures as technology evolves. All of us are constantly struggling to learn or to, to keep up or to be proficient at uh, the latest uh, procedures using the latest technology. And a way to shorten that learning curve is going to be very valuable to everybody, um, especially our patients. To do rehearsal, we have to research technologies for taking the patient data and turning it into a computer model that can be interacted with. It really is a wonderful thing to watch grad students in mechanical engineering, computer science work with residents and medical students and share ideas that are sort of at the margins of what they're comfortable with. And that's where I think the real exciting uh, developments come from. So any challenges on getting those people together are very well worth the results that we get from it. One of the benefits we have being here in the Clark Center is that I'm physically halfway between the School of Medicine and the Computer Science Department. So it's easy for people to come here and join us for a meeting or hang out and talk or have lunch together. And that means a lot. You know, just this more frequent encountering of each other's thoughts. I think Stanford is pretty much of an ideal place for multidisciplinary work. I think that's really true. I've been in a number of other great institutions, but I've never been in a place that makes it this easy, this accepted, this um, productive. I think we have the opportunity to fundamentally change the way that people learn to do surgery and medical procedures. So I think this is a wonderful way for us to be breaking ground and influencing and, and very positively uh, directing individuals who are going to be going out and making the future of medicine. The preceding program is copyrighted by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu.